Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Wix website files. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, what we need to do first is we need to access our Wix account. So go to Wix.com, log in into your account, and you should be able to see the sites section here. So in this case, we need to first access our website here. So I actually have this website here that I have. So let's go and click on select and edit site. And once you've done that, you should be able to see your dashboard here or your manage web page for your that specific website. Now, in this case, click on the edit site at the top right, and that should actually boot up your editor here. And what's, uh, when your editor is actually boot up, what we need to do next is we want to basically access the actual website. Now, to do that, at the top right of your screen in here, you should be able to see a publish button. So whenever you actually hover over it, you should see a specific section here that says view site. So in this case, once you click on it, you should be able to see your website here. Now, in this case, I first have to explain a few things before we actually download our website files here. Now, with how Wix uh, websites are actually currently set up, they don't give you necessary ways to directly download your files from their website. Because again, they use a lot of JavaScript here and a lot of the code or uh, files that is dependent on the Wix servers. So if you want to like, um, like for example, make a local file for that specific website, well, it might not be complete. But still, if you want to download your website files here, there's actually one thing that you could do here. So first thing that we need to do, again, we need to access our actual website here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to right click on any section here until you see the pop up here that says save as. Again, right click on any blank section here, choose save as. And as you can see, it is now being saved as an HTML file. Now, in this case, go ahead and rename the file as is, or if you, you could go ahead and just retain it in here and just click on save. Now, the download process would actually depend on how your how big your website here. Uh, now, in this case, once you've downloaded the file, you could go ahead and click on open that or open file location here. And as you can see, we do have two files here, one HTML and one folder. Now, it's really important that you don't download or basically, don't, sorry, don't erase. So make sure that you don't delete the folder that you see in here. Because this folder actually contains the CSS, the some of the images that you have, and some files that is dependent on the HTML file that we saw before. But if you want to view the, your website here now in HTML, you can go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it's going to open up our website here. And as you can see, it might not be complete. And sometimes the load up process here might take a while. So in this case, you just need to wait for it to fully load up. Again, like what I told you before, the uh, whole thing might not be complete here. Some aspects into your website might, might be missing. Like for example, if you have any plugins installed into your website, they might not appear in your HTML file here, which is something really unfortunate. But again, if you just want to get the skeletal structure of your website, you could just basically do the thing that I just showed you. By the way, if you want to start editing your HTML file here, you could go ahead and just right click on it, click on open with and choose notepad here and you should be able to see the html file here so you could go ahead and do appropriate changes in here and you should be able to see it uh applied on your website here so in this case that's how you actually download your wix website files but again it might not be a complete download but still if you just want to get your skeletal structure or some of the basic files that you have for your website this is how you actually do it and that's about it so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.